first on Fox News at 6, one person was shot today on the Washington University campus. I'm Ray for Wild. And I'm Mandy Murphy in for Sandy Miller. The campus was placed on lockdown and students were put on alert. Fox News' Kelly Hoskins begins our live team coverage of the shooting from the WashU campus. Kelly? Mandy and Rafer, students here on campus say they were notified that a person was on campus with a weapon as officials here on campus sent out a tweet. We want to take a look at some video as Bomberito Automotive Sky Fox flew over the scene earlier today around 1.30 p.m. We're told that students on the campus were to take shelter as soon as possible until further notice. The shooting happened near the Danforth campus near the Edison Theater located in the 6400 block of Foresight. Reportedly, when officers arrived, they spoke with a man in a silver vehicle that claimed he had been shot by a man in a black SUV. We're also told a woman in a silver car was shot in the arm and suffered non life threatening injuries. Sections of Foresight were blocked between Skinker and Big Ben during the initial investigation. Police say the gunman remains at large. It was not immediately known what led to the shooting. Authorities say the lockdown has been lifted and everyone has been notified to resume activities. Students say this is the third gunman reported on or near the campus in the last month, which raises some serious concerns. I think it kind of makes it real. I mean, you hear about it, something that happens not you never expect it to happen to you or here. You hear about this stuff in the news, but you don't really see it like, you know, at your own school or stuff like that. So it's, it's you know, it's, it sets you back a bit. We were pretty freaked out. This is actually the third one in about a month that's happened, and it's, we don't know where it's coming from, so. It was definitely alarming and very creepy and eerie to see um, everyone gone, and it was just very quiet and rainy. The school was placed on lockdown for about an hour, and as we mentioned, that lockdown has been lifted and all activities have resumed. Police say that the investigation is ongoing as they continue to search for the gunman. Live in Clayton, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.